Good morning. Craig Howard here. Happy to be with you again this morning. I, uh, I wanted to share something with you that I think is really, really important. Um, I ran across a story about a guy who was arrested in Japan for complaining. He, it's true. He called his phone company 24,000 times. 24,000. 24,000 times complaining, not just about service, but complaining about things that he wished the phones would do. He wanted phones to accept radio signals, and he was upset because he couldn't get radio signals on his phone, and a whole bunch of other things. And so finally, after 24,000 calls, he was arrested uh, for interfering with the general operation of a business. I read another article that was a study that showed that in medical practice, staffs that actually had a doctor that was always criticizing them, that was always running them down, performed more poorly that the staffs did a, a poorer job in analyzing blood tests, in just doing their jobs in general. If their doctor was constantly criticizing them, if their, if their boss, who was the doctor, was constantly criticizing, was constantly tearing them down, uh, it actually diminished their performance. So it actually, that grumbling, that complaining, that, that critical spirit actually put lives at risk because his staff or her staff uh, were not performing as well as they were capable of. You know, the Bible <clears throat> I had, has a lot to say about this. I actually <clears throat> just Googled verses in the Bible about complaining, and I ran across these this, this, this section that said five verses that you should teach your children. Well, I'm not going to go through all five of them, but the first one was found in James chapter 5, verse 9. Do not grumble against one another, brothers. Do not grumble against one another. Brothers, so that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge stands at the door. Uh, James is writing to the persecuted church. And he's, he's talking to people who are going through some very difficult times. And he's telling them, even in these difficult times, he said, don't take it out on one another. Don't grumble against one another. Because the Savior, Jesus, the judge, is, is just around the corner. He hears, he sees, he sees what you're doing. Ephesians 4 verse 29 is a really good verse. It says, Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may, that it may give grace to those who hear. Corrupting talk, corrupt communication, the King James Version says. Uh, he says, Don't let that come out of your mouth. The Greek word that... that is used for that that translate that translates that corrupt uh, is is a word that talks about things that are rotting or decaying, um, any sort of grumbling, deception, obscenity, gossip, anything that is not flattery cynicism, slander, backbiting, anything like that, anything that, that corrupts and decays. Uh, it says in, instead our speech should be for building up, that that's the purpose. We shouldn't be just going around complaining and hurting one another. Um, it, it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses, well, starting in verse 16, it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of Jesus Christ concerning you. That complaining spirit, that, that spirit that's tearing other people down, that corrupting spirit, that, 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 that hurting spirit, it serves no good purpose. I, I'll admit we all fall into it once in a while. And there are times when I get discouraged or I get upset. Oh, Archie. Well, he didn't want to be on camera. There are times when we get frustrated. We get upset. We get, we get angry. And uh, we say things that we shouldn't. Things that are going to hurt other people. Things that are going to tear people down. But the Bible says don't let that that negative hurting spirit be a part of who you are because not only is it going to hurt others, uh, not only is it going to hurt the person that you're aiming it at, but it's going to hurt the people 
who those lives affect because you're going to tear them down and make them less productive, make them less accomplished. And People are going to see that in you. They're going to see that spirit in you and say, that's not the kind of person I want to be. Um, it says over in Philippians 2, verse 14, do all things without grumbling or disputing. Um, you know, by grumbling, we enter a world of complainers and we just kind of fall into this, in, into, into that situation. And our witness for Jesus Christ is diminished because they look at us and they just see destruction. They don't see the, the building up that comes through Jesus Christ. They don't see that renewal that comes through Jesus Christ. They just see something that is destructive and hurting. Um, so anyhow, I'm sure my time is gone. Yep. But I just want to take a minute and say and encourage you. I just want to say don't let that, that, that temptation to be that destructive grumbler don't let that temptation be who you are. Don't let it define you. Don't let it become who you are. Reflect on the verses that I've given you this morning. Go back and, re and read them yourself and let your life be a blessing. It might just, if, if grumbling tears others down, you might just be able to pick some people up today that desperately need to be picked up. Well, I want to just have a quick word of prayer with you, then I'm going to go, Father, help us to be people who are encouragers. Help us to be people that build other people up. Uh, Father, don't let us just have that spirit of complaining and, and dis that destructive spirit that enters so many lives in this world today. Father, bless the time we've had here today. Bless all that are hearing this. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, I hope you have a great day today. If this has been helpful to you, share it with others. I think if you're watching it in the buzz, you can't share because that's a closed group, but you can copy the link and paste it and, and share it that way um, in, your own, in your own thing. Um, anyway, have a great day. I will talk to you tomorrow. God bless.